We've got Joey Vila Senior with us. Thank you for the time, sir. We're talking about your class, the amateur fight team here at the Jackson Wink Academy. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good, man. There's another day in the office yelling at punks. <laughs> yelling at punks? Well, let's go back. You, you've retired about five years ago. We're coming up on now. Was it always in the plans for you to transition to coaching? Well, I, during that whole time of, of me fighting, uh, I had been coaching that whole time too. That was the, the good thing about MMA just starting. You know, I, uh, not only was I fighting, but I was also coaching too. So I've been coaching the whole time also, you know. So it, it kind of goes hand in hand with it. I think that uh, Coach Wink and Greg Jackson have definitely been definitely been grooming me for years to uh, take over you know a, a, a lead role in the in the um, uh, MMA side of the sport not wrestling not striking not jujitsu MMA you have to have your MMA coaches and I'm an MMA coach I'm not uh, a one-sided or one-dimensional coach you know we have specialists in that department I'm an MMA coach so um, um, every fight corner needs um, an MMA coach. Uh, they need somebody that can oversee all areas, not just one area. So I've been uh, uh, been under the guidance of some, some great leaders, man. So here I am, you know, uh, getting these amateurs uh, ready, getting their, their fundamentals and their, their structures down to compete at a high level. How long has it been that you've been leading the amateur fight team? Oh man, I it, it's 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 been since since I. I've been here. We, we since the program was was uh, made here at the gym. Um, it was made here at the gym probably about nine months ago. I don't know, a year ago, something like that. Um, I've been running it since, but I've been training amateur fighters for over 20 years. You know, so um, even before I was here, I was at uh, Greg's uh, Greg's Academy uh, training amateurs there. So. I've been doing it a long time, but as far as the program, I've been uh, the head coach of the program uh, since the beginning. Moving forward with the program where it's been over the last nine months, where are you looking to take it? Well, I'm looking to, to get these guys ready for uh, for the next level. You know, I we want to we want to have a commitment here from these guys, a certain level, a certain expectation uh, to fly our colors. You know, uh, fighting under the Jackson's Wink banner is that's a, an exceptional honor. You can't just walk in here and then expect to fight under it. So we're making guys earn it. We're making guys uh, earn it and earn it the right way, uh, not. Uh, not coming down here and just thinking that because you stay in the dorm rooms that you can fly the colors. No, that's not how it goes. We're going to make sure that you have a, a sturdy foundation and and that you're going to be ready. You're going to have you're going to be a, a pretty decent polished product. Uh, but by the time you hit the the cage, you know. We know you know dealing with fighters comes with dealing with certain temperaments. Has this been different than what you've expected taking this coach role? No, not at all, man. It. it, it it fits perfectly uh, for me. Um, everybody here at the gym, even when I was a pro fighter, um, I've always had this this kind of um, uh, opinionated um, um, this this mindset. You know, this mindset to coach and to. Uh, what these guys need, uh, there, there's a bunch of driven people here, but what they need is is to have somebody hold them accountable. So somebody that yells at them, somebody that uh, expects more from them. Um, sometimes amongst themselves, they, they kind of get lost in the, uh, in the oh, you pat yourselves on the back and you're doing well enough. Well, you need somebody to say, there's a little bit more we can squeeze out of you. You know, so uh, Greg Jackson did that with us. I mean, it, 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 uh, and Coach Winkle John did that with us. And look at look at the the rewards. Uh, look at where we're at now. So I know what it takes to get there, and I know what it takes to stay there. So I definitely want to bring that same foundation to these guys. You know. And also in your job, particularly with this, is there also some holding in the youthful invigorants because there are two happy and motivated about what they're doing, starting to chase their dreams. Yeah, yeah. so a lot a lot of guys, man, uh, we get a lot of people that come here because it's the world's greatest gym, you know, uh, right here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We get a lot of guys that are uh, what I call pipe dreamers. They, they have pipe dreams of being MMA fighters, and then they get here, and then they see the standards that we have, and then they realize that it's really not that uh, easy. It's not as easy as it looks on, uh, uh, on, on TV. 
and television, you know. People, they come in here and they realize just how hard it really is. And that's my job, is to, is to let them understand what it takes to become a pro, right? So at amateur level, they're learning a lot, you know. So um, it's not for everyone. Uh, it could be for everyone. You can go train at mom and pop's gym down the street. That's fine. But if you want to represent these team, team colors, you definitely got to earn it. When we talked to Michael, he had said also be a good thing. We know everyone has a dream. They can easily get in contact with the gym and try to come down here. But it's best to come in here with a background, yes. with some martial arts experience in hand. If you, if you, you know, like I understand that this gym uh, to a lot of fans is like Disneyland, man. They come over here and there's, there's Holly Holmes, there's Johnny Bones, there's Cub Swanson, there's John Dotson. There, there's just, just a plethora of fighters. So it, it, could be, it could be Disneyland for some people. And some people come down here because uh, they're driven. They want to fight. And, and I've seen success stories, man. I've seen some, some amazing stories um, happen. You know, Landon Venata, you know, that guy come out here at 17 years old looking like a hobo sometimes, you know. Now look at him. Now look at what he's doing. And he's making waves and he's one of those dudes that we started out in um, um, as an amateur and developed that talent and got him to where he's at you know um, that's because of hard work and dedication and, and of course his desire and and his skill set you know so not everybody's created the same but work ethic wise I will ask that everybody is created the same you know there's Still that division, can you handle this, Can is this the right path for you? But we also know for the gym, they'd like to see this class get as big as the pro class. So what do you think it's going to take for that to happen to get more people, to get this amateur team bigger? Well, half of our pro class is half full of amateurs. But that's because we, when we designed this program, we didn't pull them back. We wanted them to stay with their, with their comfort zone, what they're used to. Um, or this class would be full right now. Right now, right now, um, a lot of our amateurs are at in pro class because we didn't withdraw them back because they they kind of earned their stripes. You know, that's what these guys are working for. They're working to get to that next level. You can be an amateur. You can be an amateur and go to pro class because your level it can sustain it because your level um, is good enough because I okayed it, Coach Wink okayed it, uh, Greg Jackson okayed it. So you can be an amateur, you can be a really good amateur, but this is going to get your core. I bet it's mindset. What's most important for an amateur that wants to walk in here, that wants to start down this journey? What's the most important for them to bring when they walk in this store? Uh, it, a few things. You better love it. You, you better love it because it, it becomes your life. It, 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 if you want to be successful, you, leave, you live it, you breathe it, you drink it, you eat it. Like, like It becomes everything. You better love it. And you better be doing it for the right things. If you're doing it for the wrong things, it, 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 that'll expose itself, you know? Uh, that's the uh, uh, Facebook, Instagram posts all the time, the, the pictures with everybody, but you ain't working. I see it, coaches see it, we know who you are. So if you really, really want an honest go and you really want to pr pursue and dedicate your life to it, um, right, here's the place, but, but you work for it. Man, here's an opportunity to train with at the best gym in the world and you taking photos and just sitting in the dorm room thinking that's gonna work, that ain't gonna work, right? If you wanna come down here and you wanna work to be the best, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely give you that opportunity, you know? We've talked about the door rooms. Has that been a good and an evil then to the program in that way? No, I think it's been nothing but a positive thing for 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 the gym. Uh, we've we've gotten we we have a, a handful of some great prospects that have come through that dorm. We've had some people that have come through and they can only they can only stay here for a few months because of work and they went back home, you know. And but but they come back. Like our dorms are are. Um, are are incredible man they're they're exceptional and and we get we but just like in any any sport or anything you're gonna have your hard workers and you're gonna have your your uh, disneyland fans right and both are welcome and both are welcome but if you want to represent and fly these colors true true you gotta you gotta earn it you gotta work for it you know i've had other fighters share this that have made the transition that you've made from fighter 
to coach, is it more stressful for you on fight night having to watch your little deers go out there and learn how to walk than it was for you to get out there and throw down? Of course, man. Competing was, was natural and it was easy for me. One thing that's very frustrating, I understand what, what, with Greg Jackson, is uh, all I ever expect of my fighters is to show me what you show me day in and day out. Don't underperform. When you underperform, that's when I get frustrated, that's when I yell, that's when I lose my cool. But if you excel, great, but if you underperform, you're going to hear me yelling, right? So it's very, it's very, um, uh, it's an interesting dynamic, but, but I love seeing the process, man. You're fully into this coaching phase of the career, building this team and doing what you love. Does it feel different than how you expected to have made this transition? No, not one bit, man. This has been my home for over 15 years, you know. Um, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the, the founding members here, you know. So it's good. It, it's nice to have an anchor, somebody who's been through it in the past, who understands what it takes. Um, um, who fought at a, at, a, at a pro level for a, a, a long time, who, who had a long career, man, 40 MMA fights, uh, 16 amateur boxing fights, uh, understands what it takes to compete, you know, and, understand what, and understands that everybody is different, you know. Um, not everybody's the same. So uh, that's one thing that we're really good at out here is, is we, we build around your strengths. We don't one-dimensional people. We don't make them just a... Um, um, everybody, we don't program all program them all the same. We work with your strengths. You know, I mean, I mean, what we've done speaks volumes for for the success. You know, so we're obviously doing something right, and uh, you know, jumping into this coaching role is something that just comes natural. I think uh, I actually think that I'm a better coach than I ever was a fighter. You know, and that's only because the more experience I gain. Of course, I can look back at yeah, me. You know, uh, uh, ten years ago when I was fighting, and to where I'm at now, I, I completely understand so much more, you know, so um, I, and you should feel that way. I should feel like I'm a better coach than I ever was a fighter because of the experience and the knowledge you've gained, you know. Monday's on three. One, two, three. Monday!